Hey, how's it going everybody? I want to thank all of you for taking time to watch today's video. And also I want to thank everybody for helping the channel out and helping it grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. I really do appreciate it. I got something a little bit different for you guys today. The U.S. government in multiple seizures over a couple of years time has seized nearly 10,000 rifles, 200 rocket launchers, and 800,000 rounds of ammunition. In 2021 and again in 2023, the United States Naval Forces Central Command intercepted four vessels in international waters in the Gulf of Oman and the Arabian Sea. On these ships were thousands of weapons and nearly 800,000 rounds of ammunition. The U.S. government believes are part of an Iranian smuggling operation to support rebel forces in the Yemen Republic. Federal prosecutors alleged in a seizure notice filed on July 6 that an arm of the Iranian military, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, which the Trump administration designated as a foreign terrorist organization in 2019, was smuggling the large cache of weapons and ammunition to support healthy forces in Yemen. There is no plausible way these weapons and munitions could have gotten on these vessels between Iran and Yemen except the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps has continued a pattern of smuggling to healthy forces in Yemen. For nearly a decade, Houthis, part of an Islamist movement, have been locked in a civil war with the Yemen government after the group seized the country's capital, Sana'a, in 2014. Iran has been widely accused of supporting the rebel faction. The U.S. Navy intercepted four d house narrow ships that often operate without transmitting an automatic identification signal on May 6 and December 20th, 2021, and on January 6 and 15th of this year, all four ships visited known IRCG ports and went through routes consistent with the previous RGC smuggling operations. Altogether, U.S. authorities seized nearly 10,000 various kinds of rifles, about 300 machine guns, 194 rocket launchers, more than 70 anti-tank guided missiles, and close to 800,000 rounds of ammunition, among other weapons. I'm going to pop up on the screen a couple of pictures of what the U.S. Navy seized over the past couple of years. On December 20th, 2021, the U.S. Navy intercepted a vessel or dehow named al Ghazal one And on that vessel, the U.S. authorities seized 1,438 Chinese-made Type 56 rifles and 220,000 rounds of ammunition. On May 6, 2021, the U.S. Navy also encountered another vessel named Dihao X. The government seized 2,556 Type 56 rifles, 35 Russian-made rifles, 194 Iranian-made rocket launchers, 183 general-purpose machine guns, 100 Chinese-made sniper rifles, 52 Iranian-made anti-material rifles, and 50 Russian-made anti-tank guided missiles. Also seized on the Dihao X were Iranian-made rocket launchers. On January 6, 2023, the Navy intercepted Dihao Y. The vessel carried 1,918 Type 56 rifles and 198 Russian-made carbine rifles. Less than two weeks later, on January 15, 2023, the U.S. authorities intercepted another vessel, Dihal Z, in the Gulf of Oman. The ship had 2,999 Type 56 rifles, 100 carbine rifles, 101 general purpose machine guns, and a whopping 578,400 rounds of ammunition. I have a couple of questions, and I'm pretty sure you guys do as well. What the hell happened to all of these rifles and munitions? Were they destroyed? Were they funneled to Ukraine? or some other government somewhere. We sure as hell could have used the ammunition here in America because of the shortage we went through and the high prices of ammunition. Where did it all go? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think happened to all the firearms and ammunition. And like I mentioned at the starting of the video, I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. And I'm very grateful that you guys are doing so. And we're getting closer and closer to 60,000 subscribers to the channel. And as always, I invite everybody back to see my next video.